And now, sports with Joey Dubois. Christine Howe isn't from Pocatello, but the running community here in town has embraced her with open arms. Now she's getting ready to return home in just a couple of weeks to run the Boston Marathon. Today, Christine shares her love for running and the changes she's had to make training up here in Pokey. It's definitely been a shock to the system. Uh, I joke that my, you know, sea mammal legs haven't really caught on um, to these, you know, these mountain mammal legs, um, but I've started to get used to the elevation. When Howe relocated from Stoughton, Massachusetts, she searched for a group she could run with. When she found the Pocatello Running Club, she knew she had found a second home. Uh, the community has been super welcoming. Uh, I think shortly after getting here, I went to a group run with the Pocatello Running Club. Uh, they do Tuesday night track, which I was all about, and then found out they do Wednesday night trail runs, so I went to those too. The Pocatello Running Club is no joke. The area is quietly a hotbed for runners all over, and Hal values the relationship she's crafted with the club's members. There's some really great runners in town and people who have lived here their whole lives or kind of transplants and you're able to just connect with everyone and, and get out and do the group runs and really learn the community too. How ran the Boston Marathon back in 2019 but wasn't happy with her performance. She's approaching this year's trip a little differently. Boston is incredible because you have 30,000 other runners in the race and then you know thousands of fans along the the course it's point to point so every town you go through there's going to be fans screaming and cheering and so that's an incredible part of the race that was just amazing, um, but I'm looking forward to getting back and maybe having a little bit of a better race this year uh, and really soaking in the, the crowds a little more and, and that positive energy. Among those in the crowd will be Howe's former running group, Boston-based HFC Running Club. She says seeing them will give her the momentum boost she needs to cross the finish line. So you round that corner and there's just a sea of green from HFC chanting your name. And so I think that's part the part that I'm looking most forward to in the race. And it's right before the hills. So it gives you a good boost and they give you high fives. And I think it's just going to be awesome to turn that corner and see them and, and get through those hills. Good luck on Patriots Day, Christine. And while you're out there, try to smuggle a couple of Fenway Franks back for me. And down in Augusta, the Masters are well underway. And after all the speculation, Tiger Woods is playing. Finishing round two today at two over and tied for 19th place. American Scotty Scheffler currently leading the field by a wide margin, sitting at eight under heading into day three. Last year's champ Hideki Matsuyama still fighting, tied for second with a score of five under. Now Tiger finished day one at one under. Here's what he sa had to say about his performance today. There were so many things that were not going my way and it was partly the, the conditions and partly me. And, you know, I, I told Joey that, uh, hey, we got a lot of holes to play. It's going to be tough all day, so let's let's get it back to even par for the day somehow. And uh, if I can just stay at even par for the day, um, I thought it would have been a, a pretty good comeback. And that's a different Joey caddying for Tiger, by the way. But he better watch his back because this Joey is coming for his job. That'll do it for sports. Back to you, Misty. All right. Thank you very much, Joey.